Russian MFA, military personnel of NATO countries stationed in Ukraine. Service personnel of NATO countries are stationed in Ukraine, Maria Zakharova, spokeswoman of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Russia, said. She said that the mentioned military personnel are actively helping the armed forces of Ukraine. Zakharova added that the Ukrainian army is running out of weapons and personnel. Zakharova told that the West is preparing for a long-term conflict with Russia. She said that the security agreements between Western countries and Ukraine are an indication of this. This suggests that the West is not interested in a political diplomatic solution to the Ukrainian crisis. According to her, even promises by French President Emmanuel Macron to send Western troops into Ukraine will not be enough to change the minds of the Ukrainian people, who have started to wake up to the fact that they have been betrayed by the West. Zakharova suggested that Macron's statement was an attempt to send out a bright and powerful statement that would somehow inspire people in the ranks of the armed forces of Ukraine and in the ranks of Ukrainian citizens being driven to slaughter, that the West would help them. However, according to the spokeswoman, the French leader's statement has had the opposite effect, especially after a large number of NATO representatives publicly stated that they were in no way considering sending their own soldiers to fight for Ukraine. The signal was exactly the opposite, that they betrayed Ukraine and will continue to use it and betray it, she said. Poland wants US nuclear weapons to stop Russian attack. Having nuclear weapons is a powerful deterrent and something Poland should look into, a retired Polish army general said. Speaking with the RMF24 radio, Jaroslav Krasiewski, who asked about last week's proposal to give Poland nuclear weapons, made by American Enterprise Institute scholar Dalibor Rohak in the UK outlet The Spectator. I see this scenario as very real, replied Krasiewski. Those who have nuclear potential have a very high level of security. Typically, such countries are not attacked, and there isn't even a possibility of carrying out any activities aimed at causing a local crisis. Obtaining atomic weapons is a challenge for Poland to attempt in the coming years, he added. While Rohak has proposed arming Poland with atomic warheads as part of Trump-proofing the security of Eastern Europe, meaning ahead of the coming U.S. presidential elections, Krasiewski seemed to favor a long-term approach. There will definitely be a review and resumption of negotiations on the balance of nuclear forces in the world, he told the Polish radio station. In my opinion, this will happen after the end of the armed conflict in Ukraine. Poland has repeatedly called for the U.S. to deploy nuclear weapons on its territory. President Andrzej Duda brought up the issue in October 2022 only to be rebuffed by the U.S. State Department. The following June, the government in Warsaw once again asked for atomic weapons under the U.S. nuclear sharing program, citing a supposed threat from Russia and Belarus. Former Russian President Dmitry Medvedev responded by calling the Polish leadership degenerates who were playing with nuclear fire. Russia recruiting Syrian mercenaries for meat assaults. Ukraine's military defense intelligence has reported on its Telegram channel that Russia is recruiting mercenaries from Syria to bolster its military resources for the war in Ukraine, according to the Kyiv Post. The recruitment of Syrians for the war indicates a deterioration in the morale and psychological state of the Russian occupation forces due to large-scale losses and the need to replenish them to further meet assaults. Ukraine's military defense intelligence reported initial training sessions, which focus on urban combat operations for the first group of mercenaries, estimated to be around 1,000 strong, are said to be underway in Syria, near the city of Aleppo and the Kawires airfield. Following the completion of their training, the mercenaries are expected to be transported to Russia's Khamaimim airbase in Syria before being transferred to Russian territory. Upon arrival, according to Ukrainian intelligence, Syrian recruits are granted Russian citizenship provided with Russian passports and subsequently drafted into the Russian arms assault units. The video footage, which is attached to Ukraine's military defense intelligence's report, showcased several Syrians holding Russian passports, which were allegedly issued within five days. 
Intelligence sources have revealed that Moscow is enticing Syrian men, obviously facing dire circumstances in their own war-torn country through travel agencies. Initially, they are promised positions as security guards at oil refineries in Yakusha, only to be later enticed with offers of higher paying jobs in Buratia. In the city of Ulan Ude in the Borat Republic, these recruited men are expected to join the 5th Separate Guards Tank Brigade of the Russian Armed Forces, where they will be involved in combat operations against Ukraine.